Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the carp and defense, playing a stronger rated opponent, 2000 plus. Always a nice challenge. Developing the bishop here in the carp and defense advanced variation where the pawn advances. Uh, expecting bishop to be developed and then castling on the king side. Yep, that's standard. Here the best move is to take actually, but I prefer bringing it back. So that once the opponent takes, I open up the edge file for the attack eventually. Okay, I can get my knight, play pawn forward and have a c file break open. Which can be then exploited with uh, other pieces. Um, I can exchange the bishops here. Not a bad option. I play decent with knights is what I believe. So I just try to play on my strengths here. Both the players have the uh, knight pairs now in the game. Bishop pairs are gone. So that's a way to develop the, the knight and I'm attacking the uh, knight as well simultaneously. Now I can play a tactic by when I take a pawn there. And he takes and I take this. Not a bad idea, I think. Because then I get to take another pawn as well in the center. Of course, if he decides to take right now. If he doesn't take, then the thing I can come back simply. Oh, he also takes a pawn. Both trying to be greedy. <laughs> nice. And since my queen is being attacked, I have to take here. And he takes mine. So that was nice. But then again, I continue with my development and I'm attacking a pawn. So maybe expecting a pawn forward g5, which is weakening up of the pawn on g3. And now my open castles. I can here take on this. The ideas of if he tries to kick, attack my queen, and that's a checkmate if he's not careful. So he has to take, and that's what happens. People can be careless, even a 2000 rich player, and you can defeat them quickly. That was 16 moves with the Karukan, where both the players were greedy enough to take extra pawn and then ah, a quick checkmate eventually. Let's analyze the game from computer perspective. I'll turn on the engine evaluation to see if we could have done something better. E4, C6, D5 is the main move in the Karukan defense. Becomes the advanced variation. Uh, and then I develop the bishop. Knight comes out, pawn to E6. Bishop D3, I can develop the knight or take the bishop, but I prefer bringing it back so that at least my pawn structure is not spoiled. Yes, uh, I can develop the knight, which helps preventing the bishop. But I'm generally worried about this move then next. In this case, I have to take the bishop and then my open can take uh, this uh, first or even the knight and think would be fine. So best move is to take here. And then again, I'm kind of stuck with my knight. And if he goes back, of course, I can push my pawns forward. Uh, and then develop the knight eventually. That can be one sequence, but the other one is more bad. Uh, where after I develop, develop the knight, say, uh, here, and my opponent uh, gets to develop the bishop. And now if I take this and he takes the knight, then, okay, then I, I should not take the bishop immediately, but take extra pawn. And if he then takes, then I can also take. Okay, so this can be one pawn advantage. Understood. That can be one sequence. But I brought the bishop back, which is also okay. And open up the edge file for the attack. Uh, generally, people castle, but my opponent develops a knight on c3. 
I go with knight d7. A bishop comes out on g5. I try to exchange the bishops of the board, which does happen. And I got the knight pair as well, just like my opponent. And then he gets uh, the knight on g5. Now I can have a pawn break in the C on the c5 by playing the pawn forward, but I chose the other way around to just develop the knight further, trying to attack the pawn in the center. My opponent tries to defend it with the queen. And yes, that was the right move to go ahead for the pawn, uh, extra pawn, uh, which I went through. Here my opponent takes on, which is a bad option. Uh, okay, so I could have first taken a pawn extra, which is a check. And then he takes and I take with the king. That is the right sequence order. But I, in the game, I went with uh, king takes on the knight, queen takes, and then I went with queen to uh, g5 here. And here my opponent plays pawn forward, just trying to be more aggressive, attacking the queen now, also defending the pawn, because otherwise I could have taken extra pawn. That could have been a decisive advantage already. So I take on another pawn, which was g2 this time, open castles on the queen side. I take another pawn. And here the best move was to take on the rook. And even if that would have happened, I can take back simply. And then another pawn is hanging, uh, but have to be careful here because things like these can be troublesome once the square is defended, of course, with the queen. Or anything can happen from this point of time. Again, the queen is also defending uh, the pawn, so I have to be careful. But my ideas would have included get that, get the rook active, get my queen over to uh, one of these squares and then just double up and go for a quick checkmate. But my opponent helped me here uh, pretty much after castles. I go on with the rook and then he tries to attack the queen. That's mate in one. As I was explaining the game, that, that, can, that is very much possible. People can miss out on these things. And that's a 2020 rated player on leeches. So yeah, that's doable. And yeah, I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And see you tomorrow again with a good video. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.